Hey, I'm CNET's Ry Christ, standing here beside the LG LMXS 307 8.6S. Now this is basically the same fridge we reviewed two months ago, the LG LMXS 307 7.6S. Now what's different with this model is that there's no door and door function, so you can't open up the front panel here and access those indoor shelves. I'm actually okay with that. I think that's sort of a superfluous feature. If you like it, fine, but for me, it doesn't add a whole lot to the equation. And taking it away, you're left with a lower price point of $3,700 compared to $4,000 for that door and door model. Now all in all, I like this fridge quite a lot. If you open it up, it's got a lot of storage capacity. It's got 17.1 cubic feet on the inside, but you also get 3.8 cubic feet in this custom chill drawer down here. So you open this up and you've got customizable settings for things like wine and cheese and meat, whatever you want. You got little dividers there, you can separate things as you need. It's a handy feature. You'll also find storage-minded features inside the body of the fridge. There's this fold-in shelf here that makes room for tall items. There's a glide and access shelf here at the bottom that makes it really easy to get things that are kind of tucked away in the back. There are also these easy-reach bins here at the bottom where you can store ingredients for quick access. I like that, but the lids are a little loose and they come out without any connection to the fridge. They're at this kind of low, kid-tempting height, so if you've got children, I'd be worried that they'd play with that and drop it on the floor and shatter it. Another storage-minded feature is this slim Space Plus ice system, which translates from brand speak to smaller ice maker. That saves you some room for more ingredients in the door there, but it also means you get less ice out of the thing. Performance-wise, this fridge did well, holding steady temperatures that were all pretty close together and pretty close to that target temperature. The one exception was the right door. The shelves in there were a little warmer than we'd like. You can see that orange on the heat map there. That's just above 40, just above where you'd want it, but that also includes the butter bin, which is supposed to be above 40, so it's not the worst result in the world. All in all, this is a good looking fridge with solid features and steady performance. So if you're looking for a splurge that makes sense, I think this model fits the bill. For more, check out my full review at CNET.com. For CNET Appliances, I'm Ry Christ.